Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Chris here. So today we're going to take a look at this Neotech uh, NH, NH872, which is a uh, Husqvarna 372 clone. And we're going to see if we can't get a little bit more oomph out of this thing. It's a little sluggish. Uh, I think it should be a, a little perform a little better. I haven't run it a lot, but for the little bit I have run it, it, it just doesn't seem quite right. And Indiana Doug just did a video and he showed a a mod to, to do to these things. It has to do with the timing. So we're going to attempt to do that today. Yeah, so let's get All into right. it. Let's just get this bar out of the way. <laughs> I lost a bar nut. Can you believe that? All right, so let's get this starter assy off, as some would call it. I'm using all the tools that were provided with the saw, too. I think that's neat. They give you a complete tool set. I mean, I have mountains of tools I could use, but... Let's try to do this with what they provided. Oh, I might have to use my own tools to get this flywheel off. We'll see. I think we can sneak this out. Okay, now we need my tools. Okay, so, what the problem is, is there's a keyway in here, and I guess it's clocked wrong. So there's the keyway. Right there, okay. <clears throat> and that just holds the uh... push. Sure, looks like that seal's leaking. <laughs> Anyways, it just holds the flywheel on the correct in in installation position of where you, when you're installing it. So the turning this flywheel one way or the other is going to advance or retard the the uh, timing. So what we're going to do is take that that keyway out. Then we'll reinstall this just a click past that keyway. And that will advance our timing. And it should give us a little bit more uh, response and run better. So fingers crossed. Might take a little bit of playing around to get this right. Might have to do this a couple times. We'll see. Of course, there's no exact science to this, other than uh, I guess you could put a timing wheel on this thing. I think they make stuff like that, but this is, we're not that advanced here. So I think I'd like to mark that. Gonna put a little tick right there. That's in line with the uh, Q 
keyway there. You guys see that? Let's put a little tick on there. A little white tick that's in line with the keyway. So now that's the keyway. We'll advance it the width of the keyway. But you can even see it down in there. Let me show you. All right, so there's our keyway lined up, right? We're going to move it the full width of that keyway and advance the timing that far. So that should be enough. Put it all back together. I'll leave a link in the description to Doug's channel, Indiana Doug. Most of you know him, but if you don't, you should. He's very, a very helpful, encouraging member of the chainsaw community. And his video is probably better than mine. The only thing I needed that wasn't supplied was the uh, half inch socket. Easy fix. Well, <laughs> I can tell you this, that is way better. Uh, let's go put it in some wood. But it, uh, right off the rip, it starts better. The throttle response is right now, like it should be. I'm excited about this. Let's go put it in wood. I'll get this barred up. I'll see you guys at the wood pile.
Hey guys, it's me. Congratulations on making it this far in this video. Uh, statistics show that more than 70% of you have already clicked off. But anyways, so we're going to have to revisit this all in the future. Um, I did a lot of cutting with this that I didn't, I don't show all in the video, but a lot of messing around with the carburetor and cutting and just couldn't get things dialed in right. And I ended up taking the car back to like a factory tune, one full turnout on each screw. And what I found was is the idle screw was actually turned way in. And this just caused all kinds of chaos with the saw. I, I could never get a full uh, tune on the hijack. So, Anyways, I took it back to factory second settings, ran it a little bit, and then I ran out of time. So, we're going to have to revisit this uh, chainsaw in the future. I'm going to put the tack on it and actually set the RPMs, and then we'll go from there. But it does run better, and I'm thankful for Doug for showing us this uh, Neotech hack, if you will. And... Uh, Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.